Hey, what is up, guys? I'm back for another Ask Me Some BS, and before we get into that, let me take a second to talk about something else and where you guys can find me very soon in a galaxy far, far away. But not really, though, because it's literally here in Vermont. Yes, that's right. I'm from Vermont. A lot of you found me last year at this event, and uh, once again, I'm partnering up with the Essex Cinemas in Essex Junction, Vermont. You guys can find their website right along the bottom here, and um, you guys can actually buy tickets and come hang out with me for the premiere of Star Wars Rogue One. And of course, the premiere will be at the T-Rex, which is Vermont's largest screen. Uh, T-Rex, like a dinosaur, rah! And much like last year, there's going to be a ton of activities, there's going to be trivia, there's going to be cosplay. I'm going to be there, of course, recording another video with all you great Star Wars fans I hope I run into from last year, and hopefully new ones that are catching this for the first time. So stop by the Essex Cinema, make sure you see me, make sure you go there if you're in Vermont, because we're going to have a great time, and uh, you know, be careful on those roads. It's Vermont. It could be like sunny outside and you're wearing your Crocs and then you take like three steps and you're covered in snow. Do people still wear Crocs? Let's get to the intro. I don't have a theme song, so this is a placeholder. So here we are at the topic. Obviously the um, thumbnail kind of gave it to you, but let me read the question before we get into it. So, if Homecoming underperforms or is not as well received as the latest MCU films, what would happen with the Marvel Sony deal? Can Sony easily break the deal and take Spidey out of the cinematic universe? Whew, that's a loaded question. Huh? So first off, let's start off. Let's, well, actually, it's worded good enough that we can just kind of go down the row. So, if Homecoming underperforms, well, <laughs> this is tough. Uh, this is a very tough one. What's underperforming? Well, let's look at the previous Spider-Man movies. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I'm pulling this one out of my head from what I remember best, but I believe it passed just over $700 million. I think it was like 709. That's huge. On its budget and what it made, at face value, it looks like it made $550 million. You're like, damn, okay, so what? That's a failure? The critical reception was the failure there. The fan reception was the failure, but also, their budget, it's not all it's inclined to believe. When you see the budget, that's like how much they spent on the movie. 2 to 2.5 times that is spent on marketing. That's why a movie like The Amazing Spider-Man can make $700 million. And it only makes $150 million. Batman v Superman can make $800 million and barely break even because of how much they spent on everything. And that's what you have to get, really look into. Um, so can it underperform financially? Yes. Here's the big thing, though. Just hold on. Back it up. This is going to be a cheap movie. One, they're taking it back to high school. So it means a lot of enclosed environments and things like that. Two, it's Marvel making it, and they have a very cheap turnaround. I don't understand how they do it and how their movies look so much better than movies that cost three times as much. But they do it. They understand. They got Industrial Light and Magic and a few other great CG people working on there. And they're just... They're able to produce quality that looks higher than what the other studios are, you know, producing out there for way more money. So that's on them, and that's great. So even if it underperforms, it's still going to be a huge success, which that's the first part of the question there. Um, now, if it's not well received, well, here's the thing. Let's look at the MCU track record. What are they in? 13, 14 movies? I can't even keep count anymore. All of them are fresh. There isn't a single rotten one. There you go. The, like, so how bad of a movie do they have to make to get a rotten? Think about that for a second. They would only have to toss in like five different things coming in all together for no rhyme or reason to get a rotten. They're not going to do that. It's going to be a simple movie. Maybe two villains max. It's going to have a simplistic plot by the look of it. It's going to have a great cast, so everything's lining up probably 80 or above on Rotten Tomatoes, and hey, that's awesome, right? 80 or above, that's, that's what you really want. You want to get back to that heyday of Spider-Man 1 and 2, which Kevin Feige was executive produ producer on some of those, so he definitely knows where he's going with that. Now, him actually having a grasp on Spider-Man, he's probably getting the perfect movie he wants, so we're probably going to get the Spider-Man movie we finally want, which then, this is a good one, um, can Sony easily break out of the deal and take Spidey out of the cinematic universe? No. Not a chance. Uh, 
they went out there and they signed contracts. These new contracts for Spider-Man nullified the contracts they already had for Andrew Garfield and all those people. All those people are going to be getting some money and, you know, trying not to sue because they're going to have to pay out some of those people, right? But this new one is going to be the same deal. And now you got Disney, Disney, who's the most profitable studio, versus Sony, who every year, it's just down, 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 less and less and less. When they bring their lawyers to the table, if Sony tries to say, uh-uh, to that contract, who's going to win? Specifically, when Sony is the one rescuing, or being rescued by Marvel, right? Uh, there, there's no way. Even if this movie, hypo, let's say hypothetically, in the biggest hypothetical ever, this movie comes out, it makes $500 million. That's it. So it's like $150 million in profit. And it scores a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's still a victory for Sony. They're gonna make more profit in the end than they did off the Amazing Spider-Man, and their character is more recognizable because he's with the Avengers. <laughs> um, boy, that's fun, funny to say. Spider-Man's more recognizable because he's with the Avengers. Jesus Christ, the times have changed. Anyway, um, so think about that. But let's not kid ourselves. The movie is guaranteed. I'll guarantee you right now. And this isn't one of those guarantees like the BBS guys that were like, Batman v Superman guarantees makes 1.2 billion dollars because it's Batman or Superman. You had no basis on that. And I kept telling you years in advance saying it's not going to do that if the critical score is bad. Homecoming is going to come out. It's going to do probably 700 million or more with ease. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up close to 900 million. That's big numbers. And the critical reception is probably going to be above a 75 guaranteed. There's no way that movie gets under a 75. No goddamn way. If it does, come back to this video. I want you to mark this video, go add it to your favorites or something, say, idiot says it won't be under seven, you know, 75 Rotten Tomatoes. And if it does, hold me accountable, but it's not going to. It's not going to. There's no way. And there's no way it makes under 600 million. So... They have a victory here, and there's no way Sony's going to back out of anything, because they know they messed up so bad the last three times, they can't mess up again. Because if they do, it's going to look bad on them, and they need rescuing. Their most profitable division is PlayStation. They went from a hundred billion dollar company a couple years ago, to nothing now. They're nowhere. And that's the sad reality. Hey guys, Armin here just reminding you that this video was made possible thanks to patrons. If you guys are interested in supporting us and making sure we keep the lights on, check out our Patreon where you can join other fans in supporting the CBC delivering content you guys have come to love and expect. And if you can't do that, give us a like and a subscribe. That goes a long way too.